Good afternoon. I'm thrilled to be here one more time. Um, my name is Guillermo Booth, and I work at Batanga Media. What we do, we are one of the largest publishers in Latin America, and we have a lot of uh, traffic also in the U.S. for Hispanic audience. We also have four sites in English, we produce content in English, in Spanish, and in Portuguese. We are also one of the top publishers in Brazil. We also have almost 100 million users, unique users worldwide, and three, 30, 3 million people on our social media sites or platforms. We produce close to 5,000 pieces of content every single month. So imagine all the data that can be generated with, with this. So I'm going to talk a little bit more about what native advertising is. And just because I want to make a point, then I'm going to talk about what are the data uses to produce and distribute content the way that we do it, and also how we create micro segments. So for us, and there are many definitions about what na uh, native advertising is, but for us, it's when advertising naturally blends with content, but I highlighted two words here, with sense and purpose. Why is that? Because we think, we believe, that native has to make sense to the audience, but also has to have the voice of the publisher and obviously integrate with, with brands. And not all native advertising does this. Sometimes the context it does not align with the voice of the publisher or the audience. And why am I, am I saying this? It's because if you have that a content that is aligning with um, and recognized and relates to the audience, the story is going to be heard. Just to give you a quick example, when it comes to uh, movies or music, uh, those are great, I mean, the, the movie producers are great uh, storytellers. Let me give you an example with Disney. I love Disney movies, but I'm an I'm a adult man, 18 to 24, and not, or, I'm not 24, obviously, <laughs> then um, not all Disney movies relate to men 18 to, to, to 24. So. Uh, that's why you have to know your audience and relate to them. And that, that's what we do. We identify through data uh, what content relates and is recognizable by our audience. And how we do, do we do that? We have a process. It's all based on data, obviously. And the process starts with tools. We have social tools, dashboards that or content uh, tools that allows us to track every single piece of content that we are posting. So we know what's trending, what's not, what's getting shares, like, um, shares or likes, or how much time consumers are spending uh, reading that content. So the, the editorial uh, team can actually produce the content, a more relevant content for that audience. But we also marry our brand's content to the audience, the audience that we have, to tell more compelling stories. Uh, just to give you an example why this is important, because when we do what I just described, you get better engagement rates, for example, just one example. Uh, here on Facebook, we generated with one campaign, and this is normal uh, when we post on Facebook, five times the engagement rates that Facebook has, which is um, the benchmark is between three and um, five percent, so time, five times more than that. So that's how we distribute the content, create content, and then we have to distribute that content, obviously, to reach our audience. And we use uh, more standard ways, you know, first party, third party data, contextual, behavioral, to really push that, that message, you know, including keywords, interest, in tar um, interest targeting, and, and so on. But we don't stop there. I think for, for, for us, what is important, we have created 
uh, new advertising opportunities for our clients, but also obviously a revenue source for us, we are collecting a lot of data from, again, 100 million users, 5,000 piece, 5, pieces of content across different countries in the world in different languages. So we are collecting a lot of data on, of the content that we are producing or distributing. So we are using that data to uh, activate based on the, the signals that we, that we get. And that um, allows us to create limitless audience segments. And those are something that we call micro segments, and those are unique segments that we can create for our clients. Just to give you a quick example, what we do for L'Oreal uh, in Latin America. In this case, we created six pieces of content. Each piece of content, obviously it's native advertising, relates to a product. It could be a hair product or makeup or something. Each piece of content has a theme, either how to uh, take care of your hair uh, during the summer, and tricks to do whatever. I, I don't, don't know much about that. <laughs> um, so every single piece of content, when someone engages with that content, we, 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 we have a pixels on, on our content. We create micro segments, and we can actually activate uh, on those micro segments that are looking for specific content on the open exchange. Or we can pass on that data to our clients as well. And they can layer and do whatever they want with it. And um, so we have a proven process that um, starts, I mean, allows us to, again, create, produce the content, distribute the content, but also segment and retarget anywhere on the web. Thank you.